This is the top five accessories you need for your gas grill. We cook on a grill five or six times a week, and even though we have quite a few cookers, we tend to cook a lot on the gas grills like this Monument Denali 605 Pro. And here are the six best accessories that you need to have for your gas grill. I'm going to be using these accessories on our new Monument Denali 605 Pro. These accessories are going to help kick your grilling game up a notch. If you have a Monument grill or are getting ready to order one, do yourself a favor and order these accessories to come with your grill. That way you'll save on shipping and get the accessories that you need right out of the gate. Now everybody knows that gas grills don't give you anything for added flavor to your meat. That's why a good smoke box is something you should have. Monument makes this nice one that you can open up, fill with your favorite pellets or wood chips, put right in there next to the burners and give you that good smoke flavor on a gas grill. One of the most important accessories that you can have is a smoke box for your gas grill. You might not use it every cook, but when you do, it's gonna really level up that flavor of that food. Simply open it up. Put some of your favorite wood chips or pellets in there. And place it right between your burners. This smoke box is going to get licked by those flames coming off of those two burners right there and it's going to smoke really nice. Do not soak your wood chips. Water doesn't smoke, it steams. As long as you've got water in those chips, they're not going to give you a bit of smoke until the water burns off and then it'll start to smoke. The smoke comes from lack of air. That's why all of your smoke boxes have very limited airflow in them. That way the wood can't just catch fire and burn up. If you're currently soaking your wood chips before you put them in a smoke box, I'm sorry, you're doing it wrong. So stop doing that. There's also various smoke tubes and wedges that you can get. I'll put a link to all of those also down in the description below. Now give me that thumbs up like button for that smoke box. And yeah, in case you're wondering what that weird background noise is, we have the seven year migration of cicadas and that's what all of that background noise is. Now here's an accessory that's pretty specific to the Monument Denali 605 Pro. You can get a cast iron insert for this thing. The cast iron insert has two sides. It has a flat side and a textured side. You can choose whichever one you like. Basically, just take out this round insert, drop in your cast iron one. I'd make sure the grease hole is between your burners and not directly over one. And then you're ready to sear steaks, cook bacon and eggs, whatever you want to do alongside of the rest of your cook. One egg coming up. Now that right there is a burger, y'all. All right, it's time to eat. Lesson learned on the griddle. That dude heats up quick. Use the burner on low for your first time trying it. That little round cast iron plate really adds a lot of versatility to your Monument Denali 605 Pro. So if you order one of these grills, make sure you order it with that plate. But guess what? If you don't have a Monument grill, but you still want the versatility of a cast iron cooktop, here's the rectangular flat top from Monument. It has the flat side on one side and also has the textured side on the other. Now you can run this a couple of different ways on your grill. You can just set it right on top of the grates that are there or you can just remove one of the main grates on the inside and drop this cast iron plate right in its place. Perfect. We've got the grill heated up. We're going to get these smash burgers on this griddle. Smash burgers are so fun because they are just so incredibly easy to make. Just smack those meatballs on there, smush them down and you're ready to go. That is gonna be fan freaking fantastic So you can have your Blackstone and your regular grill going basically at the same time without buying another grill. How cool is that? All right, those are about ready to flip. Let me toast a bun on there. I'm only cheesing two of these because the other two are gonna be for tomorrow. There we go. Look at this. Nice double smash cheeseburger. Look at that. It sure don't get a whole lot better than that, y'all. So with one of these flat tops, you can cook just about anything you want on these grills. And I will put a link to that cast iron topper down in the description below as well. And don't forget, if you're running the smoke box, you also get that extra flavor. You can't do that with a Blackstone. Now that one certainly ought to be worth that thumbs up button if you haven't given it to me already. I happen to believe that the number one accessory every gas grill needs is grill grates. This is a very well seasoned and very well used set. These interlocking panels don't actually fit this grill. These came off of my worn out Weber. 
the interlocking panels just sit right on top of your existing grates. I'll put a link to these down in the description below. Just go on their website, pick your grill, and it will tell you which panels will fit your grill correctly. You can cover your entire grill surface with grill grates or just part of it like I'm going to do. I've had this set of grill grates probably between 10 and 15 years. These started on a Sterling gas grill that came from a propane gas company, then went on a Weber Genesis, and now they're on the Monument. I'm going to contact grill grates and find out what set fits this perfectly and put three panels right here. I also have the grill grates on my Camp Chef Woodwind pellet grill and on my SNS charcoal kettle grill. I wouldn't have them on three different cookers if I didn't believe this is the best accessory you could buy for any grill. If you're serious about grilling, you need a set of grill grates for your grill. Another great accessory is an instant read thermometer like this one from Chef's Temp. This thermometer lets you get accurate, fast readings from the meat so you get repeatable results every time you cook. Now I know I'm going to get comments from some people saying, I never used a thermometer and my stuff comes out perfect. No, it doesn't. I mean, give me a break. You're probably overcooking everything or undercooking some of it. If you want good, repeatable results, especially with things like steak, you need a good thermometer. If you think I missed one, leave it down in the comments below. Now kick off your grilling season the right way with these great accessories you need to have to make your friends jealous. Hit that subscribe button down there. Give me that thumbs up like button. And don't forget the bell icon so you don't miss videos like this one when they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. That dude got hot quick.